Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. We have had a super busy weekend and if you watched my last video you know that my husband and I just celebrated our 10 year anniversary this past Friday. Two of my best friends came and stayed the night with our kids so we could have an anniversary getaway for one night which we have never done before. And it was so nice for him and I just to have that time to ourselves and spend it in the peace and quiet. And if you're new to my channel I hope you will consider subscribing today before you leave. My husband and I didn't get back into town until late yesterday afternoon but I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. So if you're sitting on the couch watching this or you're up cleaning with me, I hope it gives you lots of cleaning motivation while you watch today. When unloading the dishwasher, I like to put the clean dishes under the cabinet they will go in. It just makes the process quicker and easier when putting them away. So moving on to the kitchen table and chairs, it just needed a good wipe down and I usually just use a wet dish cloth and the Mrs. Myers cleaner, but I just wanted to give it a more thorough clean with Murphy's oil. So I used a half a cup of Murphy's oil and a bowl of warm water. And I just recently got two new chairs for our table, which we desperately needed for when people come over. I didn't have to wipe those down as much as the others since they were newer. And I should have shown the before just of the milk splatter on the legs of the chairs. The cushions occasionally get stains on them when Paisley drops food or drink, but they have always been very easy to clean and a stain has never not come out.
So my son was diagnosed with influenza A this past Friday. So I have probably disinfected our house about 10 different times in the last few days. And then with everything going on with the coronavirus, I think it is easy to become fearful about all of this. But I heard on the K-Love radio station this past weekend that the Bible talks about fear 365 times. And out of all the verses, this is the one that stood out to me the most, and it is Isaiah 41.10. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. It says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So of course we've taken all of the necessary precautions as far as disinfecting our house, making sure we have plenty of food, keeping our hands clean, which we have always done, but not letting fear take over by things that we hear on the news, things we see on social media, or even here on the radio. And I follow Brianna Kay here on YouTube, and she does a very cool thing on her channel where she asks if anyone has a prayer request to leave it in the comments. So if you have a specific prayer request or you just need prayer for protection over yourself or your family, leave it in the comments and I will add you to my prayer list. Cause now 
they just keep on dancing as one You and me are moving Make sure we get through this Let's just keep on dancing as one So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of the main areas that I disinfected, which were my countertops, my kitchen table, light switches, doorknobs, stair railing, and door frames since my son's been diagnosed with the flu. I've kept him in his room since Friday to keep him away from his sister, which hasn't been too hard because he has quite a bit in his room to keep him entertained. We can leave and run away someday. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope I was able to motivate you whether it be physically, spiritually, or just giving you cleaning motivation. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time.